to reduce stress and anxiety. Things you. Hello everyone, how you all doing? Welcome back to my channel. Um, for those who are coming here for the first time, my name is Amara. Amara Chi, that's my name, but you can call me Amara. Welcome, my channel is all about DIYs, hair, skin, anything that I love, anything that concerns me, I'm going to find <laughs> I'm going to find on this channel, honestly. Um, so today we are just going to be talking about anxiety during the corona um, coronavirus period and things that you can actually do to reduce stress and anxiety. Things you <laughs> English things you can actually do to reduce stress and anxiety. Um so uh I think this in Nigeria in Abuja to be precise today is Saturday as a Monday um the federal government you know stated that there's going to be a lockdown and everybody should stay in their homes but prior to that the week before I'd already started staying in my in my house we are, I had already stopped work and so today will be the 12th day of me being a, of me practicing social distancing and it's been good but the first week was really hard for me because ever since I finished service and I started working I've always been like up and up and about like I'm always doing something and my job requires me to wake up very early in the morning and you know get to the office so it was quite hard trying to like sort of like adjust to you know waking up whenever i wanted to wake up and not having anything to do see the first few days of the lockdown that was on tuesday and i think tuesday after on monday the day the i think was it on monday that the, the president spoke i can't really remember but all i know is the lockdown started on tuesday and on Tuesday, I was really scared because I felt like, okay, this is it. I'm not going out. And as in, I felt so bad on Tuesday. I felt really bad on Tuesday. And so, you know, on Wednesday, I decided I was going to come out from my, my compound and my dad wanted to go out. So I said, okay, let me follow my dad and see what's happening. And I found out that people were actually coming out to take a stroll and go and buy essentials like food and medicine. And so I calmed down a bit. But it didn't stop me from feeling somehow as regards what would I be doing during the day. And I think a lot of people are actually trying to, you know, people are actually trying to think, what can I do during the day? Now, there are people that are saying, oh, you need to learn one or two things. This is the time to learn. Man, this is not the time to learn because people are still trying to wrap, a, wrap their heads around what is actually going on. In the in the world it's not just a nigeria thing or a continent thing it is the world people have died people have lost their lives from this thing from this virus and so some people are not just in the right frame of mind to you know bury their head deep in learning a skill or something and so for me i found out that having a daily routine works now obviously your daily routine is going to change but for me, I feel like something that revolves around the house, you know. Um, the first few days of social distancing, what I usually did was I would stay in bed when I wake up and press my phone. Like, I'll go through Instagram, I'll go through um, TikTok, I'll go through Twitter. And before I even stand up for my bed, I already feel so tired. I feel like, I feel like something is on my shoulders. And honestly i knew that it was not a healthy way for me it wasn't a healthy way for me at all to just face this two weeks we are on lockdown even social distancing even if you'll be able to go up uh, go out but i just knew that this is not going to be the right way for me to live my life during this period and so basically what i did was i started with the first thing i started with jogging every morning um, you know, just waking up and once um, once I wake up, I stand up from my bed. I just wear my um, uh, my my what do you call it? My leggings and my tank top, 
put on my trainers and I go for like a jog or a run. And you know, you see other people working out and you feel good, you know, you, you take in that um, early morning air and you feel sort of like refreshed. And so I think um, that was the first step for me to building a daily routine during this period. So now, what I usually do during the day, first things first when I wake up in the morning, I try not to press my phone because there is, even if the TikTok challenges are making things a little bit relaxed, but there is a lot of bad news going on. Italy is, Italy is the worst hit of this um, coronavirus thing. And um, what I do basically is when I wake up in the morning, I'll just, you know, stand up from my bed, dress up and go for a jog. Once I take that jog, I usually feel so hyper, like I feel, I feel so strong, I feel so energetic. And so I come back home after that and I, you know, play some Afro beats, you know, we are Nigerians. <laughs> I play some Afro beats and I just dance and I dance and I sweat. And once I do that, I feel so free. I feel like my body is so free, like I feel so free. After that, I have either my cup of cereal or I, if you know me, if you follow me on WhatsApp, you know that I love to make lots of pastries, not the right, you know, meal, but I really love to make pastries. But basically, if I don't make pastries that morning, I'll definitely take cereal. After that, I read. I definitely read. I try to keep my mind occupied. I try, like, I, I had novels now. When I was, you know, I didn't have a job, and so there were books that I read to keep me company. So what I basically do is I just, I took a book that I had and I started reading it from the beginning. So I read. After reading, in fact, while reading, sleep just comes naturally. Sleep just comes. It, ju it just comes. After a few pages, sleep just comes. And I live with my parents, so... Um, a couple of times, you know, my parents might call me, my mom especially might call me to come and help her do one or two things and I do those things. But in the afternoon, the next thing that I do in the afternoon is to make lunch for my folks. If I'm not the one making lunch, if it's my mom that's making lunch, I assist her. And if it's something that doesn't need assistance, man, I just sit down and I press my phone. All in between these things, I'm pressing my phone. Definitely, like I'm checking the shade room and I'm checking the and I'm checking Twitter and I'm checking okay things that are happening you know um, after that you just eat and if Nepal brings like oh sorry not Nepal ADC but Nigerians know what Nepal is <laughs> if we have light the next thing is just to sit in front of the television and just watch programs um, if I don't have anything to watch I'll just watch something on my laptop and just basically relax and enjoy enjoy the evenings you know evenings as well because um because you know you'd also want to take in fresh air after staying inside the house for so long um i just have any excuse i'll just take my slippers and just stroll down my streets just to stretch my legs just to you know take in some fresh air before i come inside um the next thing is dinner or um dinner or snacks um i bought this you if you're in Nigeria, you know this biscuit is called Beloxi. So I bought like a carton of Beloxi. <laughs> I bought like a carton of Beloxi, you know, to like just anytime I, I feel hungry, but I don't want to eat anything too heavy. I'll just take like two packets of mini Beloxi um, cracker, cracker biscuit. I'll just take it and drink water. And so just spend time with my family in the, in the evenings, um, in the evenings and nights, have conversations with my parents, you know, know what's going on with them and yeah i go to bed i go to bed um before i sleep i'll not lie before i sleep in fact i sleep with my phone <laughs> i sleep with my phone like in my hands i sleep with my phone in my hands and yeah that's my daily routine for now um for people who have things that they like doing like the people that like making wigs and people that you know they have handwork of some sort this would be like the perfect time for them to you know try and enhance their craft if they really want to enhance their craft for, for me for big uh, for me basically that is just all i do during um, the day and that's how it has been i think for the past three days three to four days 
yeah, three to four days. That's basically what I've been doing for the past three to four days. And I feel it's working out pretty well for me. I love my mornings because I go for a run. I, I you know I just jog and just let it I just let loose during my jogging. I run, you know, to get your heart pumping. So my advice to you if you're feeling like um you know you're you're feeling anxiety you're feeling stressed you're feeling depressed what i'll just tell you to do is make sure you're active stay active staying active does not mean you kill yourself working out no do something like i remember this morning today is saturday by the way this morning i did not jog but when immediately i stood up from my bed i washed my clothes i went out because it rained yesterday night i went out and picked all the um Cashew because we have a cashew tree in my house. I picked all the fresh cashew that had already dropped because of the winds uh, from the rain. And then I went ahead to make some um, kwan begi. <laughs> kwan begi means twisted donuts. So I went ahead to make some kwan begi. And um, yeah. And that was how my morning. In fact, making the twisted donuts practically took my entire morning. And when I finished, I was exhausted. I ate. And after eating, one time i just i came into the room immediately i finished eating, i came to the room trying to read and i passed out like i slept so i'd advise you to you know have a daily routine know what you're doing at certain times you can't just be on the bed from morning till night try and stay active and like i said staying active doesn't mean that you have to be working out or you need to yes you'd work out but stay active by maybe reading a book some of you watch movies you can take a stroll you know let fresh air let fresh air touch your skin and so basically that's all i wanted to say the that's just everything i wanted to say if you're feeling anxious if you're feeling stressed out because of corona um just try and stay active and don't forget always have your hand sanitizer with you when you come back inside the house wash your hands Let's stay safe during this COVID-19 period and until um, I see you next time.